Oh my God, Brandon's parents have this weird, bizarre past with their farm, and basically it is not looking good for those two. We got so much to talk about, and now we need to talk about Brandon's parents from 90 Day Fiance. We have seen them a ton, and now people are starting to come out and say, oh my God, Brandon's parents, they do own a farm, but now it actually kind of looks like that some, if not, you know, the majority of their business is actually a puppy mill, which if you don't know, ooh, me being someone that does love dogs, I'm not a cat person, but I do freaking love dogs, and if you don't know, puppy mills notoriously, not all, number one, they're not illegal, but they have typically horrible, god-awful living conditions for these dogs, they treat them like crap, and they treat them like a freaking, you know, conveyor belt of just trying to knock out more and more puppies. They have a very bad stigma. Everyone, for the most part, doesn't really like these puppy males, but here is actually what is going on. We've all seen it. We know these two. Brandon's parents are freaking more into this whole 90 Fiance segment than Brandon and Julia are. We see them every episode, which is that, that, that is kind of stupid. We see these people in every single episode, but either way, we know that they live there, and we also know that Brandon and Julia both work and live on this farm, but I never knew what exactly were they doing and I did know from Brandon and now doing some research that his parents both have day jobs. So I was like, is there any freaking money in this thing? Is this farm like a hobby? Like, what is this? I kind of thought they just had these animals just for fun because they love them and they were just kind of taking care of them. But no, it is a fully fledged real business, which is fine, but it just kind of gets weird. So we do now know that number one, Brandon's mom works at like a radio type, you know, station type place in the business side of things. The dad, I believe, sells cars, but I could be wrong. But they definitely both have day jobs. But now with this actual farm, what is going on with it? Why did one of my amazing followers, Sophia, thank you, thank you, thank you, email me a link to their website. And I checked it out for myself. And this is what I found. There is the website. It's called Hummingbird Acres Farm. It's a small family farm located in beautiful and historic Dinwiddie County, Virginia. Here we raise all natural pastured lamb and pigs and, you know, guinea hogs and poultry. And we also breed European German Shepherd Dogs and adorable little Brussels Griffins. Well, Brussels Griffins, if you can't tell because I'm a freaking idiot, are dogs. I had no idea, but I knew German Shepherds, and then that is when everyone was like, oh my god, yeah, this is not looking good. They own a puppy mill. Now, a puppy mill, like I was saying at the beginning of the video, can mean a lot of different things, And but you only can kind of assume, geez, the living conditions for these dogs are probably pretty bad, number one. Number two, it's the conveyor belt style. They're just trying to knock out as many dogs as possible, and it just is not good. Here is the interesting part. Julia, who has been in the middle of this whole situation, and she has made it very clear on 90 Day Fiance that she absolutely hates this farm and that she wants nothing to do with it, she came out on social media a day or so ago sharing her side to this farm, and she completely contradicted herself about everything she said on 90 Day Fiance about the farm, and she was actually standing up for the farm and standing up for the living conditions of these dogs. She said that right there, saying, I think you need to close this topic Topic once and for all. Everyone can ask, not make up a story. Dogs are watched by two people 24 hours a day. Naturally, I exaggerate. People need to sleep at night, but the first rise is at 5 a.m. to walk and feed the dogs. Dogs walk three times a day, sometimes more. Not two minutes, but how much they want. They are combed, fed. They play with them, train them, remove their cells, whatever that means, two times a day. They live better than most people. Some dogs live in the house because they want to. So if you were so worried about this topic, I hope I clarify the situation. And that is it. So Julia claims that everything is sunshine and rainbows with these dogs, but I do have to admit we did see in one of the first episodes when Julia made it to the farm, that these dogs were caged. So, I mean, they're in cages, which that's like kind of a first sign of a puppy mill not being very good. And it's like, yeah, I don't know how much I believe of that. I do find it odd that now all of a sudden, like a year later, she's so happy and gung-ho. What happened to her relationship with Brandon's two parents? Because now we're seeing a 90 Day Fiance, she cannot stand them and she cannot stand the farm. Why is it all of a sudden, it's all sunshine, rainbows, amazing. I kind of find that odd. Maybe she does get more accustomed to this farm life. I don't even want to say spoilers. I have no idea. I have heard rumors, but I can only imagine. Honestly, there's like such a slim chance that it does not work out for Brandon and Julia. 
they like have to get married. If they don't get married, I'd be shocked. So more than likely, she's still in Virginia. Maybe she's still living at Brandon's parents' house, but God, if they have not gotten an apartment now, it's like, I mean, what is going on? And honestly, if they have not gotten an apartment yet, I bet you this whole stupid situation with Brandon not moving out is like deeper than just the money thing because he has to be getting some money. I've heard a rumor that you get about $1,000 an episode if you're on 90 Day Fiance. Okay, well, the guy's on every episode, so they're getting some money, and he was on 90 Day Bears All. So they gotta have some money, and like I've said a million times, rent can't be that much in freaking Dinwiddie, Virginia. So I don't know what is going on, but it's not looking very good for Ron and Elizabeth Gibbs, who is Brandon's parents. Good old Ron. It's not looking very good for you, Ron, because, yeah, they're starting to get some hate. They're starting to kind of get some heat completely just, you know, we, we, we can just forget the fact about that they're being really judgmental and they're being annoying and they're being really control freaks, but the whole dog puppy mill thing, that is kind of weird. So definitely make sure to comment below what you guys think is going on, what you believe, and what you think of these puppies, and if they're doing a right or wrong, good or bad thing, definitely make sure to comment below. I'm curious what y'all think. And believe it or not, we have more 90 Day Fiance drama, and this time it is with the same season of 90 Day Fiance, and it's with Ryan and Stephanie, and this is just so freaking weird that we've had so much drama with these two, because the season has barely even started. I mean, we have barely even seen these two. We had not even seen Ryan in person. In fact, we've only heard Ryan actually talk on camera through FaceTime one time. I did see though on an upcoming episode, it does look like Stephanie goes to Belize, the border opens up, and now she's starting to really kind of be heated, and she's sharing all this info, I have no idea why, with an Instagram called Mommy Says Bad Words, I want to say. Yeah, that's it. Now, I'll put a link above below this video if you want to check out her Instagram. It's a great account, kind of low-key. But she's sharing all this stuff with her, I have no idea why. And the story is that Ryan did some horrific and horrible things that I'm not even going to get into detail about on this video to Stephanie. And they were horrible, they were god awful. She's making those allegations against him. And Stephanie's also claiming that TLC knew the whole time, they knew everything that went down. And basically, what she's saying is they knew what he did to her. And I think even that she's even kind of saying that they knew, like they believed what he did to her, they knew, they thought it was true what he did and you know it was horrible horrific things and it's like they still let him be on a spinoff of 90 Day Fiance of some sort and because that and because they didn't totally cut ties with the guy after finding out what he did Stephanie is completely freaking furious it also sounds like there's some what of a I don't even know some like sand fly situation story that they were kind of forcing Stephanie to record when she was in Belize she didn't want to blah 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 she was really mad and so she like filed the lawsuit against TLC. But the main thing is there's more and more things coming out with Mommy Says Bad Words and Stephanie regarding this whole situation and all these horrific things that Ryan did to Stephanie. Now, I'm not even going to share this screenshot. What I will do, though, is I'll share a link to Mommy Says Bad Words. If you want to read this post, I'll put a link above below this video. You can check it out for yourself. But like I said, I mean, it's 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 a lot. So definitely, you feel free to read it. You know, we're all adults here, but it's a lot. It's, it's pretty graphic. So I'm not even going to read it. I will will say though, Mommy Says Bad Words has these texts that, you know, she spoke with a source that's very close to Stephanie, the person's remaining anonymous, and they're pretty crazy texts. This person explained what happened in their idea. You can read it for yourself. Pretty crazy. I honestly, I believe it to be true. I think Stephanie, or yeah, Stephanie's a little bit, you know, out of it, but I honestly, everything I read here, I just find to be true, and I, I just, I think that Ryan guy is just trouble. I could be totally wrong but he just comes off as trouble to me, so I'm not very shocked, but definitely check those out. The interesting thing I will say though is, is one of the last messages, Mommy Says Bad Words asked, why would Stephanie claim these horrible, horrific things? And you know, she said, is it payback? And the person said, she's definitely looking for revenge. It's driving her crazy that he's filming for the Discovery Plus show. And then Mommy Says Bad Words asked, do you think Stephanie's the kind of person that would cry wolf? And the person responded, she can be nice, but she can be very mean as well. She's all about herself and wants everyone around her at her feet. All the people around her are paid to do something for her. Even her fake boyfriend, Quincy, was paid to film for the Happily Ever After show on TLC. 
And then mommy said bad words, said, wow, so is that relationship fake? And this anonymous source said, yep. So, wow. And I also should have said kind of a spoiler alert in this whole big crazy drama. I've already said it, but it is rumored that Stephanie met another man. She was in a relationship with him. And now we can basically confirm from that mommy says, you know, bad word source that it sounds like, I guess, that this man was completely paid to be on the show. But all that stuff makes sense. I believe Ryan did something probably pretty bad to her, but I also believe that she She's the kind of person that would just, you know, she pays people and she even admitted it. Like she even said on 90 Fiance, she's paying Ryan's salary to work at this resort and she's the one paying it. She's basically paying her way to stay in this relationship, which just sounds awful and horrible. And she's not an unattractive or ugly person. So it's like, why? Just meet a man that loves you for who you are. But still, that's kind of crazy. So when this insider source said that she'll pay for her friends and pay for anything and she wants everyone to look up and beg to her, I'm not shocked one little ounce of a bit. The thing I am shocked and kind of somewhat curious about is what is going on with Happily Ever After? What is the deal? Are they feel like, see, this is why 90 Fiance is so funny to me. I watched this show and we all have to remember, this stuff was filmed like freaking long, long time ago. The 90 Fiance season we're watching right now, that was filmed last January, February, March, long time, literally about a year ago. Yeah, actually, it was a year ago. So it's like this stuff, they, they plan ahead. And so it's like the source said that she's going to be on a new season of Happily Ever After. And it's like, Stephanie? So I am just kind of like, like, what? Is this going to go on the Discovery Plus app? Is it going to go on TV? Why would Stephanie, who has like literally not even been on 90 Day Fiance, going to be on Happily Ever After? And I've heard a rumor that Jovi and Yara might be on it too, but it's like, why Stephanie and her this new... It's like when Colt was on Happily Ever After with Jess. The thing I will say about Colt is Colt and Debbie were kind of on the show a lot. And Stephanie, she hasn't even been on barely even an episode, and it's like, now she's going to be on another season of the show with a new, different man? Seems kind of weird, but either way, oh my god, Brandon, Julia, their parents, very, 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 very odd situation, and I am super incredibly curious. Maybe one of you guys has experience with this whole puppy mill, dog breeding, lifestyle business. I don't even know. I mean, I'm curious what you guys think. Is it as bad as everyone's saying? Uh, th they were getting so much backlash on social media, the two parents, not even with the fact that they, I, I was giving them backlash for the fact that, oh my God, they are control freaks, especially the mom. The mom is a freaking control freak. It's annoying. I kind of feel bad for Julia for that, but now they're getting backlash of this dog thing. So it's like, is it as bad as it seems? We have all seen the stuff on YouTube, at least I've seen stuff on YouTube, let me just say, of these puppy mills where they just, you can't even watch it. You know, I'm talking about the commercials and they're sad and they're playing sad music and it's black and white and gray and it's just really freaking sad. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. That is how a puppy mill is in my head. Okay, that's what a puppy mill is, but maybe it's better. Julia, who, come on, if you're going to do a post about the freaking, your fiance's, you know, at the time, parents' puppy mill, and it's gonna be positive, you must still be with them. So I can only say Julia is still, I guess, happy and upbeat about it now. Kind of weird because she did a 360 because last time I saw Julia, she freaking hated the farm. But now she's all Miss Positive, lovey-dovey of the farm and these dogs live some amazing life. So I don't know who to believe. I am kind of shocked. I think this is very weird. And the thing I really don't understand is do they make any money? That's the thing I keep asking myself. Is there any money? Not not that I want to go start a puppy mill or anything. I'm just curious. If they made money, why would they have their job? Like, it just seems so freaking weird. It's almost kind of like, in my opinion, they have their jobs, they make a little bit of money, and then they're just like depending on Brandon to freaking run the thing. And maybe not, but the dads made comments like, this could be yours and this and that with the farm. And it's like, what is your intention? Like, it just kind of seems like they want Brandon to run it and work it and maybe even kind of Julia and they can just make money off it. I don't know how it works. Maybe Brandon's even an owner. I don't think so, but it just seems kind of odd, kind of weird, very bizarre situation. And that is the weird truth. But I have an idea with all these 90 Fiance fans, we are definitely going to be finding out more info on them I can only hope really soon. And with Stephanie and Ryan, I will keep y'all up to date. Mommy says bad words. Honestly, it's a really good Instagram. And it's an Instagram account I have been following since this whole big ad Lisa storyline from like May or, you know, I don't even know. That was actually like April, May, that kind of time of last, you know, 2020. And she has had hilariously good texts all the time of people that's kind of in the inside, it seems like. So I definitely worth giving her a follow or he. And I think it's a he. I don't even know. Who knows? All these Instagram accounts like Mommy says bad words and everyone, they all 
all stay pretty anonymous, which is cool. But yeah, give Mommy Says Bad Words a follow. Definitely a very good Instagram with some pretty bizarre stuff. But if I see any more stuff with Stephanie or with anyone else from 90 Fiance, I will definitely make sure to let y'all know. Well, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I know I say it every video, but please, if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, hit the comments below, hit the subscribe button, and then also please hit the share button. That's a new thing that I've started to kind of discover is the share button. It's free. You can share it. Maybe if you're on Facebook or YouTube, share it with your friends, family, everyone. Share it with a person on a street corner that might, that might like 90 Fiance. It means the world to me. It helps out this channel so much. And yeah, so thank you so much, guys. Appreciate you watching this video. Definitely make sure to stay tuned for many more.